that animal was Perkins. He'd already been get a, given an offer of fish and he didn't eat. So he had to be tube fed. So he got um, 300 milliliters of ground fish with some salmon oil and water. And he also got a shot. Yeah. So that's his breakfast. This is Peter Hecht at the Marine Mammal Center in Sausalito, California for SACB.com. There is a remarkable rescue effort unfolding here right behind me. In California we have had hundreds of sea lions that have been stranding themselves on beaches the length of the state since January. Um, didn't grab anything that looks like it might be like any gauzes or noodles or anything. And then as he wakes up, so we're gonna, we just turned off him off the gas anesthesia, so he'll slowly start to come around and so he wake up. up. A little extra fluids to make sure he stays hydrated and then we'll feed him later today. Talk to somebody at San Pedro who are adding caro syrup to their fish bowl. Centers such as this, up and down California, there are at least seven of them are packed with, with sea animals. Last year at this time, there were probably a fewer than 10 sea lion pups here being cared for. Right now, there are more than 170. Veterinarians and volunteers are doggedly trying to nurse these animals back to health and, and release them to the wild. So these animals have um, just been uh, fed some fish with some medicine inserted into it and this is to treat things like pneumonia, also to give some vitamins to the animals um, and then they were all offered a free feed of fish so we're evaluating how well they're able to swallow the fish whole. You just know it's going to be a long day. I got here at 5 o'clock this morning and started checking the charts and I'll be lucky if I'm out of here tonight by 6 o'clock. It's just a real long day. So why do you do it? Um, because I like animals better than people. So every animal that dies in our care does receive a full necropsy, which is an autopsy for animals. Samples from each of the animals are sent to researchers around the world. Uh, we use the information to find out why they died um, and contribute to other studies to learn more about ocean health, animal health, human health.